What's up, YouTube? So, today we're continuing our let go. Today we are continuing. Today we are continuing our The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild playthrough. So there we go. We're gonna do it now. Walk off. Don't like fall off, cause that's instant death. Just going to carefully make our way down. Oh! Oh! oh. <coughs> my! My! It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long, dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop the tower? Heard a voice? Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of the atrocity as shrouding the castle. <clears throat> that is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom Hyrule castle has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There, it festers. Building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to that castle? I do. I had a feeling you would have said that. Here, on the isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. <clears throat> if you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over! Oh, -ho, certainly. Why not? Well, there's no such thing as a free arm in this world, you know. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Main quest, the isolated plateau. Open adventure log. Your adventures will be detailed here. The isolated plateau. Come, let me show you something. I'm gonna walk as slowly as he does. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? <coughs> Treasure for the paraclider, a fair exchange, I believe. Yeah, but what I'm gonna do first is go here. So what I'm gonna do is go to the back to the tower. I'm going to scope out some shrines. First and foremost, the one that I want to do first is this one over here, so I'm just going to scope that one out. Second... That one. Good 
Let's delete the uh, shrine stamps because we're gonna get them. So then, third, would be right here. And finally, fourth. Fourth would be right here. So we got one, two, three, four. So we're going to want to go to red. So let's go to red. So today I'm going to knock out those two shrines. First two. Okay. I think I can handle this. You want to see a little bit of crazy action right here. There had to be some stealth to do this because <coughs> first I'm gonna have to knock out the book cobbler. Get a headshot. Can't let it all hit me. Because of that weapon right there. Well, freaking damage. Okay, I got it. That's pretty interesting. Problem does. I'm gonna this up for it. Out of his way. Fire arrows, that's perfect. Change arrows, you can switch arrows quickly. You know, bow, press, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, let's real quick save. Guardian here, three in fact. I'll take out one of them. That's a lot. Let's say it is affected the attack and we show a lot for it. It's going to parry attack. Let's have There's another one right here. Right. 
safe. Okay, we'll turn the party in front of here. Boom! That's all three of them. Pretty good at fighting Guardian. You want to use the weakest shield for Guardian because no matter what, it's going to take the daily damage if it deflects that. And you want to use the weakest shield for Guardian simply because if you use a stronger shield, it's going to. The Guardian's beam breaks the shield instantly. And one or two is shits. Shake a slate confirmed. Travel gate registered the map. Access granted. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Jabage. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer you this trial. Bomb trial, Jabage Shrine. Shake a slate, authenticated, distilling room. Remote bomb. A bomb that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They're both round and cube bombs, so use whichever best fits the situation. Rare and extracted. Use room. Use selected room for the Shika Slate. Change rooms. You can switch rooms quickly. I do that room. Because this room sets us to. No, we are not a user room, but I'm not a Show you a little bit. The compendium. A bomb that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be damaged to monsters. Destroy it. Go for it. Oh, so there's no shit. So use that, and you can detonate it. Why are we going to do the same? Traveler's Claymore, do not pick it up. That's a good weapon, so I'm going to need it. So I'm going to throw up the focal club so I can pick up Traveler's Claymore. Really good weapon. And now I'm gonna throw it. Throw it, but not do that with it. Oh. <coughs> yeah, if you're too close, it will definitely do blast damage and kill you. Right here is where I'm gonna need this. We're gonna just throw it like that.
Over here, I'm going to want to go trying to get the stretch test. Got Amber. That honestly should fix the whistle thing. It's OP. More for no one. If you are to do that, what do I do? You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Jabage, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Ilia, and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. This, with your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I allow me to bestow this gift upon bestow this gift upon you. Please accept the spirit orb. Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenge of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Okay. Oh! Yeah, of course. Like why one of you? It seemed you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Paragarder, please. I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. The appearance of those towers and an awakening of this time. It's all connected to the shaky slate you carry on your hip there. Paragarder, please. I have yet to finish speaking! Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Shika inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved the kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasures from each of these shrines, and I'll give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young goat getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I'll teach you a trick to finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of the tower again? Are you joking? Oh, ho. I am afraid not, but do not worry, I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. <coughs> you can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Okay, first things first, what I want to do is... 
Throw right there. Break right that. We're all going to go back to the Great Plateau Tower. So yeah. Interesting game. I love The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's interesting. We're back to the Great Plateau Tower. Oh, ho. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Did you fly here? Oh, ho. so you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point for ser to searching for shrines. So you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate. In fact, I did. Look through it, and you can stick a pin anywhere you like to mark on the map. The scope and pins. Move distant things and mark them with pins. Press that, press place, go blah. The pins on the map serve as a reference point for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. I got it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. So yeah, I already did that. So, what I'm going to do is do that shrine right here. And what is new? Ability controls. Scope and pins. Her guard. Okay. So I'll go down here. Drought bass. I don't see any. We have to be in the way. That's like a point. No, 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 Change shield, you can switch shields quickly. Press hold, hold switch. Sword. I already have one, but sure, I'll take it. Because the travel sword's kind of good. But I thought I was here in these boxes. Magorn! You know, why would it be anything in this? Arrows. Apples. A lot of apples, acorns, and arrows. So what I want to do now 
Let me do that. that. I want to go down. Go for the high of fish. Or high of bass. No longer do something good. I don't want to need that. I'm going to go up there so I can... Oh yeah, that's right! It's not the paraglider! Forgot about that. What is for you? Let's get some more. You don't have to try. Just want to have a seat. Poco arm, definitely not taking that. Just like uh, that's hitting the first one be. So let's go in. Equip with shield. If you press A to deflect monsters' attacks at just the right moment, you will be rewarded with the chance of a opening to attack. I don't know what it says, but yeah. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Omen Al. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer you this trial. Magnesia trial. Omen Al Shrine. Let's get our rune. Oh. Shake a slate with the decay, distilling room. 27 minutes. Been on for 27 minutes. Why die? Magnesis, manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab up, grab onto metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis room. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Rune extracted. Yeah, I can do this one really quick. Resourcefulness and overcoming the shroud speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb.
May the goddess smile upon you. Archery tips, draw the bowstring while jumping for my place. We're in the second stride, so. Do I do it there? This just came back here. There's a lot of things to do over here with my nieces. We'll do it on the next episode, so. Thanks, guys. Bye bye!